Hi everyone, this is Mike with Rococo. In this video, I will be discussing troubleshooting common issues in which some of our users run into when using their SmartSuit Pro. Specifically, I will be discussing connecting your SmartSuit Pro to Rococo Studio using Wi-Fi and your firewall settings, magnetic interference, and failed IMU sensors. In addition to watching this video, we recommend heading over to our help and community page at help.rococo.com to learn more about troubleshooting and to look at our getting started guides. Let's get started. In general, always make sure that you are using the most recent version of Rococo Studio and our firmware. When launching Rococo Studio and or connecting a SmartSuit Pro, you will be automatically prompted to update one of these items if they are out of date. If you'd like to check the current firmware on your suit, hover your mouse over the hub icon in the info panel to get this information. One of the most common issues new users run into when setting up their SmartSuit Pro is their Wi-Fi connection. In most cases, if your suit is not showing up in studio, check the Wi-Fi icon on the hub of the suit. If there is a red light on the Wi-Fi icon, that indicates your connection is not set up properly. Please note, we recommend purchasing a dedicated router for your SmartSuit Pro. Now, a regular shared home Wi-Fi router will also work, but if there are too many devices on the network and or the router is located too far away from where you're using the suit, you may experience latency, bandwidth, and port issues. Additionally, your router does not have to be online and connected to the internet. All you need is the local network. When installing Rococo Studio, be sure to add an exception to your firewall. Once you connect your SmartSuit Pro with your mini USB-C cord, which comes with your purchase, you'll be prompted to set up your Wi-Fi settings in the bottom right corner. Make sure to input your information correctly. Your network has to have a DHCP, and be aware that your SmartSuit Pro can run on 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. If you are using a semi-private network, such as a studio or office network that requires all devices to accept terms and conditions, you will be unable to connect your SmartSuit Pro. If you are having trouble connecting your SmartSuit Pro, double check that all of your information is correct. If you do not know your local IP address, you can easily Google what is my local IP and find multiple step-by-step -step resources based off of your operating system to walk you through the process. In general, your local IP should appear in the Rococo Studio Wi-Fi settings panel. Click on the drop-down menu and the correct IP will turn green to confirm the connection. If your SmartSuit Pro is still not connecting, your firewall is probably preventing this. We recommend disabling your firewall or making an exception to the Rococo Studio application. If you are unfamiliar of this process, there will be a link in the description below to our community page that gives you a step-by-step -step example. Now that your Wi-Fi settings are set up and your suit is appearing in the scene viewer, feel free to unplug your suit from your machine. Now you can plug in the external battery using the standard USB cord that comes out of the hub. For future use, as long as nothing changes, such as your Wi-Fi information and or IP address, plug in your external power source and your suit will automatically connect to Rococo Studio and populate in your scene viewer. Please note that an external battery does not come with your purchase of your SmartSuit Pro, but we do offer recommendations for compatible batteries. In general, the suit consumes about 1000 milliamps per hour. We recommend purchasing a medium size 5000 milliamp with a USB 2.0 connection. Now that your SmartSuit Pro is wireless, you can now add an actor profile to your scene. Assign an input, such as your suit, calibrate, and record. Any input that you are wishing to record needs to be assigned to an actor profile. If your record button is deactivated, please assign the desired input to an actor profile. To create an actor profile, head back to your dashboard and click the plus sign under the actor profiles. Take some time to carefully go through these measurements. An actor profile helps the SmartSuit Pro understand what type of body it is recording. If you are running into weird artifacts with your biped model, specifically bent knees, it probably means that your measurements are incorrect. Take the extra time and double check them. Now that your SmartSuit Pro is all set up, let's talk about some issues that you may run into when recording your motion capture. In general, motion capture is a tool to help animators create their final animations based off of a performance. There will always be some type of post-production work based off of the level of quality in which each project is calling for. When using the SmartSuit Pro, we recommend using our playback filters to clean up your data before you export. And yes, you can stream into third-party software such as Blender, Unreal, Unity, but there are limitations to your animation, such as drift, clipping, or floor contact issues. 
In general, this workflow is used as a reference during production, and not for final animation. Our SmartSuit Pro uses 19 IMUs, inertial measurement units, to track the body. These sensors contain three instruments, an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer. Unfortunately, a magnetometer can be affected by magnetic interference, such as floor with reinforced concrete. We recommend downloading a tool app on your smartphone, which contains a Gauss meter tool to measure the magnetic flux density in the space you wish to do your recordings. If the magnetic interference is higher than 4 milligauss, then you will be unable to record in this area. We recommend being at least one meter away from any type of magnetic interference. If your suit is incorrectly calibrated and or you're experiencing latency issues, click on your avatar to open up the info panel on the bottom right of your screen. This panel enables you to view the status of your IMUs. If they are yellow, troubleshoot by recalibrating or do a hard reset. If the sensors are still a majority yellow and you are having issues with the live reference in the viewer panel, then the IMUs are being affected by some type of magnetic interference and we recommend using a different space for your captures. If your sensors are gray, this means that the sensors are not connecting to the hub properly. To troubleshoot this issue, visually inspect the gray sensors and their corresponding wires for any physical damage. If there is any visible damage, send an email over to support at rococo.com and we'll figure out the best solution. If there is no visible damage, there could be something wrong with the firmware. Head over to our Fix From Bootloader troubleshooting page and follow the step-by-step -step process to reboot your sensors. There will be a link below. Well folks, that pretty much sums it up for this video. Please like and share. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Head over to help.rococo.com or email us at support at rococo.com. Thanks for watching and keep mocapping.